welcome to morning market meeting 5th july 2019 i am sagar chief analyst and trader at superior profit based in singapore before we begin we go through the standard disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on superior profits trading system the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In this session, we'll demonstrate how you may use the queue systems for top-down, bottom-up, and inside-based identification of trade opportunities. And you may ask questions at any time during the session. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. Let's start our analysis with global markets starting with Australian market and we are going to look at it using the at a glance weekly daily template. In the weekly chart, AXJO index is very strong. The weekly candle is bullish in color and also bullish in shape. In the daily chart, it is going up with higher high and higher low it is in an uptrend it is bullish it is above the upper boundary level and the stretch indicator shows that it is overbought as well overbought in the daily chart and overbought also in the weekly chart this is too extended for us to take any swing long trade it is certainly bullish but extended to the upside Australian market is strong. What about China market? This is Shanghai Shenzhen CSI 300 index. The weekly is creating an indecisive shape candle. The previous week also had a doji candle and the current week is even more indecisive. In the daily chart, it was going up in an uptrend. It is still in an uptrend. Few days ago, it displayed the possible reversal signal, the bearish headwind signal. There was no short trade setup because the checklist conditions for a headwind trade setup was not met. The weekly didn't meet all the required conditions. After the bearish headwind, it pulled back for a few days. There is neither any short signal nor any long signal in CSI 300 right now. What about Hong Kong market? Hang Seng index. The weekly is going up this week's candle is indecisive the color is bullish but the shape is indecisive in the daily chart it is in an uptrend but very close to the upper boundary we are not going to look for any long trade now and it is in an uptrend therefore there is no short trade setup also hong kong and China indices look similar. What about the India market? Nifty 50 index, NSEI. In the weekly chart, we had a bearish headwind signal several weeks ago. So far, it has caught the very top. Since then, for one, two, three, four weeks, price has not been able to go up 
current wick scandal is bearish in color and bearish in shape. This is not a time to look for buy setups in the Nifty. Interestingly, daily also displayed a bearish headwind signal and that has caught the very top. That was around early June. And in the weekly also, we had a bearish headwind around the same time. When bearish headwinds appear both in the weekly chart and daily chart at the same time, we have even more reason to be cautious. Looking at that, Q traders would avoid taking many long trades in the India market from early June. Since then, price has not been able to go up. Current weeks, candle, color and shape both are bearish and in the daily chart after creating a lower high, price fell down quite sharply today. This is Friday's candle, today's candle. India market is already closed. We have a bearish shape candle in the daily, bearish color, flow color is bearish, magenta. We have a bear release signal, price fell with high volume and price broke below a memory support line. In fact, if we apply the checklist conditions for a go with flow short trade, as of today, it is meeting all the required conditions. One might take a short trade right at the close of today's price, putting stop just above recent high, which is today's high. And the initial profit target for the swing trade will be the lower boundary level, giving us attractive reward risk ratio. We found this trend following short trade setup at the very top. Why it is at the very top? Because the price extreme or pendulum color is at the highest point, green color, both in the daily as well as in the weekly chart. Therefore, we have an opportunity to take a low risk short trade at the very top in Nifty as of today's close. When Nifty flashes such a low risk short opportunity, it will be advisable to be cautious about stocks in general in the India market. Let's look at UK market using the FTSE index, FTSE. Open it again, dot FTSE. It is also bullish, instantly we can see that. In the weekly chart, the backdrop candle color is cyan for many weeks now. The current week candle broke above the two memory resistance lines. In the daily, it is going in an uptrend with higher high and higher low. It is above the upper boundary level and it is overbought in the daily as well as in the weekly chart. Therefore, we'll say that it is bullish, but it is overbought. Therefore, we are not going to take any long trade right now. Of all the market indices that we studied, Australia, Hong Kong, China, India, and UK, all of them are bullish except India. None of them have any long setup India is looking bearish and India market nifty index has a short setup. We look at the USA market indices later so that we have more data. Let's try to find some trading opportunities now. There are many ways that you may use Q systems to find trading opportunities. One of the ways is to look for breakout candidates. They tend to be very profitable. And when you are looking for breakout candidates, you may look for stocks that are at a low price level. 
so we can apply the filter at price extreme low and reversing and then we look for a long breakout trade candidate we can combine the two sonars together use the results from preceding exploration to feed into the subsequent exploration and let me run it on a list of stocks that i have it is available to all q traders comes as part of the installation file a list of stocks that have liquid options so the bid ask spread is quite narrow we can sequence the two sonars first looking for stocks that are at extreme low and reversing and then from the result we look for stocks that are breaking out i will start the exploration they will run one by one and let me now look for the similar candidates using q elite on trade station in the sonar dashboard that is implemented using radar we can drop all the stocks the same list of stocks usa stocks with liquid option there are multiple columns that are calculated let's look for stocks that are at price extreme low that is at pendulum low we have the stocks with red color that are at price extreme low and then from those stocks let me look for stocks that are breaking out i can see two stocks are breaking out cvs and khc let's look at their charts if i click on the symbol the workspaces are linked so i can look at the chart from the at a glance template the same weekly daily template that i was using for analyzing the market indices it is certainly at a very low price level in the weekly it is creating a very nice base it had a sharp drop and then creating a nice base the weekly backdrop candle color has turned bullish this week's candle so far up to thursday's market close the color is bullish but the shape is indecisive in the daily we can see the same base creation it was inside a triangle pattern on th or thursday was a market holiday on wednesday price tried to go above the memory resistance however closed at the memory resistance if now price can go up break above the memory resistance that will give a breakout long trade candidate in cvs which is at price extreme low there was another stock that we found that is khc craft hines company they look remarkably similar isn't it khc also has a rapid drop it displayed a bullish headwind possible reversal signal four weeks ago this week's candle color and shape both are bullish we have two weekly candles with lower tails that is bullish in the daily chart there is a memory resistance line last day price closed just above the memory resistance line if price continues to go up from here it may give a low risk breakout candidate we found these trading opportunities using q sonar looking for stocks that are at pendulum low if we wanted to look for stocks that are at pendulum low or price extreme low and reversing then we could come to the scan and look for stocks in a way that we were using for meta stock for q global on meta stock we first looked for stocks that were at price extreme low and reversing 
the same thing we can implement in QL8 by running the scan at price extreme low and reversing. And from the result, we could look for breakout candidates. That will be slightly different from looking for stocks that are only at price extreme low. From the stocks that are at price extreme low, I found two possible buy candidates, CVS and KHC. CVS is not ready yet, KHC just broke above the memory resistance line. We can use either scan in QL or sonar, depending on your preference. Let's look at the result from Metastock. Here we have KHC again, and we have another stock, FireEye, F-E-Y-E. -E. Let's have a look at the stock, FireEye. We can open it using our default chart. This is looking interesting. This is looking stronger than KHC and CVS. In the daily chart, price came to, not daily, in the weekly chart, price came to this watermark support level. We had three weekly candles with long lower tail. The support held. The weekly candle color turned from bearish magenta to neutral yellow and then for two weeks the candle color has turned cyan bullish there is a memory resistance very close to the current price in the daily chart it displayed a bullish headwind reversal signal that was at the same time that weekly was creating a double bottom Looking at that, you could take a bullish headwind reversal trend right at the close of this candle. Then gradually price went up. And as of last day, we have a cyan color, bullish flow color candle that also came right after breaking out of the memory resistance line. This could be taken as a possible breakout trade setup. However, you may be cautious because there is a memory resistance nearby in the weekly chart. We looked at three stocks so far. All are possible breakout candidates. Out of them, FireEye and KHC are looking better. Let's have a look at them through their fundamental and industry analysis. Let's start with KHC. KHC belongs to package food and meats industry. It has a nice dividend of 5%. Makes money. Earnings per share is positive. Its valuation is optimal undervalued stock because the valuation is coming in cyan color from that we know it is undervalued secondary valuation is also coming in cyan color there is a possibility of short squeeze that is another reason we might consider taking a long trade revenue growth yearly revenue growth is positive earnings growth is negative both in the last year as well as in the last quarter that is fine. We don't expect a stock to be undervalued and having high earnings growth at the same time. If a stock is undervalued, we are fine to look for a buy setup in that, or we might look for a stock that is having positive earnings growth and look for buy setup. Either of them will do. In this case, we have an undervalued stock. What about its industry packaged foods and meats in consumer staples? Consumer staples is getting stronger. Over one day, it is the strongest. Earlier, it was weaker. Magenta represents weakness and cyan represents strength. However, sector level is very broad. We need to drill down into the industry level. Packaged foods and meats. It's also getting stronger. Earlier, it was weaker. 
over the recent periods, five day, two day and one day periods, it is getting stronger. Therefore, we may look for a buy setup in this stock, KHC. It is breaking out of the memory resistance in daily after falling sharply and creating a base for several months. It is in a strong industry and the fundamentals are also strong. Let's now do the same analysis for FireEye, F-E-Y-E. FireEye is in systems software industry, infotech sector. It has no dividend, makes money. Next earnings is on 30th July this month. You may keep that in mind. And if you are taking a short term trade, you may employ a strategy where you will be able to exit the trade, possibly with profit before the earnings is due. How is the valuation? It is medium, neither overvalued nor undervalued. And it has nice earnings growth, positive earnings growth for three successive years. It has revenue growth as well. Just now we saw another stock, KHC, which was undervalued, but earnings growth was not great. And here we have a stock that is not overvalued yet. The valuation is in yellow color, not magenta. Magenta would indicate overvaluation. It is medium valued, but has excellent earnings growth. So we may look for a buy setup in FireEye also. Before that, let's look at the industry strength system software in infotech sector infotech as a sector is not strong it was strong earlier it was the strongest or second strongest for many periods but over last two days one day and last five day also it is reducing in strength but sector is very broad again we have to drill down into the industry level and now you see system software, it is actually strong. It was weaker earlier, magenta color, now it is getting stronger. Therefore, we found two buying opportunities in very different industries. Both are at price extreme low, both are breaking out of memory resistance. Those may lead to significant price move up. And both of them are giving low risk buy setups. That is how you can use the Q systems and techniques to look for breakout candidates that are at price extreme low. You don't have to always look for buy setups at price extreme low. In the Q sonar, I started with stocks that are at price extreme low. Some people like to buy stocks that are at high price level and breaking out. We could do that also. These are the stocks that are at price extreme high, where the pendulum color or price extreme color is green. Now we could look for a breakout candidate from there. And we have several long breakout candidates shown by green color here. Some of them are ETFs like XLI, XLY. Let's look at some stock. I think EPD is a stock. Natural gas utilities. This is a stock that is at price extreme high. Pendulum high as shown by the band indicator. And just today, as of last day's market close, it broke out of this memory resistance. That's why we could find it as a stock that is at price extreme high and breaking out. Will I look for a buy candidate here? No, because there are multiple memory resistance lines both in the weekly and daily. So we couldn't find a low risk buy setup in this stock, but you can use the technique to look for breakout candidates that are at price extreme high. And if you want to look for buy setups, 
breakout buy setups that are neither at extreme high nor at extreme low. You could do that also. If I delete the stocks at price extreme high, now we are left with the stocks that are neither at extreme high nor at extreme low. And we look for a breakout candidate. And you can see there are several breakout candidates from there also. Let's look at FireEye. FireEye is also coming here. Let's look at Tesla. Tesla. It is neither at price extreme high or low because the pendulum or price extreme band color is yellow. It's in the middle and it just now broke above the memory resistance. In fact, breaking out of memory resistance both in weekly and daily. Will I take a buy trade here now? No, because it is already at upper boundary and it is overbought. However, the weekly backdrop candle color is now cyan, bullish. If it pulls back a little bit, probably to one of these memory resistance lines, extended to the right side, and then tilt up from there. Then it may give a trend following, go for a long trade setup. That is how you can look for breakouts, not only at price extreme low, which is one of my favorite techniques, but you may also look for breakouts in the middle range of price, like in case of Tesla or at the high end of price. Let me look for another kind of trade setup. That is stocks that are already in an uptrend, pull back to support and going up. I already ran several sonars to look for such a trend. And let me explain how I found the stock. I am using Metastock now, but using TradeStation also, you could run the similar scan. I am looking for stocks that are in confirmed uptrend. So closing above very slow direction line and closing above slow direction line both it is above both the direction lines so it is in a confirmed uptrend and then i am looking for a trend following long trade setup i am using the same symbol list use the results from previous exploration i don't need to have this sonar the price extreme low so let me cancel it i reset the sonars I'm going to look for stocks closing above the two direction lines and then giving me a trend following trade setup. Let me sequence them properly. Use the results from previous exploration and start the exploration. How could I do that in Q Elite? We could look for stocks that are giving trend following long trade setup using the scan here or we could go to sonar look for stocks that are in confirmed uptrend these are the stocks where direction indicator is in bright green bright green means both the slow and very slow direction lines are going up and price is above them so we have this list of stocks and then look for trend following long setup. We have multiple long candidates from that. JNJ is one of them. It is in a, an uptrend and it is giving a possible trend following long trade setup as of today. What about Q sonar, it is running the last sonar, the long go with flow candidate, and JNJ is here as well. Johnson and Johnson, let's have a look at that chart. In the weekly chart, 
the candle shape and color backdrop color both are bullish in the daily it created a higher high pull back pull back to support the yellow direction line and we also searched for stocks that are above both direction lines white and yellow and just as of last market close it went up gave a bullish flow color candle and therefore it gave us a trend following go with flow long trade setup price is not overbought not overbought and it is some distance away from the upper boundary level therefore we have a valid technical trend following long trade setup in jnj we could see the same thing from q elite also two platforms but same chart the weekly is cyan bullish daily turned cyan in fact it flipped from bearish red to bullish cyan so it gave a trend following long trade setup how i found this stock i looked for stocks that are in a confirmed uptrend then pull back to support in this case the yellow direction line and went up what about its fundamental and industry analysis i prefer to combine the strengths from these three dimensions we could do that in FireEye. we could do that in khc let's see if we can do that for jnj jnj check its fundamentals first it is in pharmaceuticals industry healthcare sector has a dividend of 2.6 percent makes money earnings is positive earnings is on 16th july not very far in the middle of this month you may keep that in mind while taking the trade the valuation is in the middle it has pretty good earnings growth as well as positive revenue growth fundamentally this stock looks strong for us to take a long trade what about industry pharmaceuticals in healthcare start with the sector healthcare is in the middle our sector level is very broad we drill down to the actual industry and we see pharmaceuticals normally we look at the five day period and five day period avoids the noise sometimes if we look at one day period it may be very noisy our standard practice is to look at the five day period it weaken little bit from the 10 day period however it is still cyan not the strongest industry right now but not very weak also the color is more cyan than magenta and technically it is giving a nice trend following long trade setup you may look for a trend following long trade setup in jnj the fundamentals are pretty good let's now look at the usa futures let's start with oil in the last market roundup i cautioned about oil futures or etf looking at the memory resistance line and price indeed pulled down from there it was a good idea to close any long position in us oil at that time now the daily candle color is bearish even if it goes up now there is a memory resistance nearby we are not going to look for any buy setup until it can clear the first memory resistance line and then there is another memory resistance line also instead a more higher probability setup would be if oil drops to one of these memory support lines and tilts up from there that will give us very low risk buy setup 
right now there is no trade setup in oil what about gold in the last market roundup i mentioned that price was above upper boundary level so we are not going to take any long trade now we have two weekly candles with long upper tails that is not bullish the shapes are not bullish in daily we had a bearish headwind reversal signal one day ago and today it is falling sharply this again shows why when the headwind signal appears the possible reversal signal we are very careful sometimes we may take a reversal trade at minimum we protect our position so that the impending reversal doesn't erode our profit right now there is no trade setup in gold if you had a long position you may be cautious and book or protect profit If we look at the futures, overnight market is already on. We can see all the futures, E-mini, S&P 500, NASDAQ, Russell 2000, and Dow Jones Industrial Average futures all are down. Not very much, but they are all down. NASDAQ is down the most by almost 0.6%. Let's look at NASDAQ. Interestingly, NASDAQ is displaying the bearish headwind reversal. Of course, the daily candle is not complete. Market hasn't opened yet, but it is displaying the bearish headwind signal. We may be cautious about any long position in NASDAQ futures. There is a memory support nearby, so we are not going to look for any short trade, but we will be cautious about any long position we may have. Let's look at S&P 500. This is also displaying a bearish headwind possible reversal signal, which may disappear if the price changes during the day. But you may keep an eye to see if it closes today with a bearish headwind signal. That will be a cautionary signal. Russell 2000, it was the weakest earlier. Then for a few days here, it was the best performer. Where did it stop? It stopped precisely at the memory resistance line, both in the daily and weekly. Looking at that, you could book your profit in Russell 2000 long position and could look for a very low risk short. Probably you could short it using intraday chart on this day and that would give significant profit now it is inside a triangle pattern you are not going to take any trade until it can break out of the triangle pattern that is for swing trading for day trading purpose if it hits the memory resistance line and reverses then using intraday chart there will be very low risk shorting opportunity the same thing will happen at the memory support. If it comes to the memory support and then on five minute chart, we can see a reversal, then that will give a very low risk intraday long trade setup. Right now there is no trade setup. Let's look at the Dow Jones Industrial Futures. This is also displaying a bearish headwind signal. Therefore, three of the four market futures, that is S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones Industrial Average, all are displaying possible reversal signal when multiple similar symbols, in this case market futures, display the bearish headwind signal. At the same time, then there is even more reason to be cautious. Again, the daily candle is not complete. The bearish headwind may go away, but if it persists at the end of the day that is a reason to be cautious extra cautious that is all that i plan to share i want to mention one thing to celebrate 4th of july 
we are offering all the queue systems free for one year you may learn more detail of the offer from our home page there is no strings attached to it it's our way of celebrating 4th of july with all the traders and investors that is all that i plan to share in today's session thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in our next session have a great week and trade profitably